it's quite breezy today and no doubt the camera will pick up the breeze in these poplars more than anything else. They've got a tendency to do that. Anyway, there's the charcoal kiln, busy. It's been burning for a couple of hours with the uh, extensions on the chimneys to make it draw better. Won't be long before I turn the chimneys round. But uh, besides that, let's just move round. And we've got further adventures of the solar boom. So we're going to lift it up and move it round. And let's see how we get on. So I've put some blocks in place and you can see the pivot, the yellow bit. So let's see how we get on. I've had to uh, turn this camera away this way just so that the uh, the wind doesn't get in the microphone so much but we'll just move forward there's the pivot and it's virtually in line with the plate let's just move the camera around a bit can't really see so we just line the uh, bearing up now it just needs to lift a little bit by about three inches I don't want the tractor running just yet. cameras just pick up the background noise more than the noise you want them to record Pain in the neck, really. Let's just see if we can lift this. We can. Get the bolt through there. That was easy, wasn't it? Remarkable. phase one so there we go just trying to put my hand around the microphone to stop the breeze getting in there so those bolts want tightening up and then we can remove the tractor so here it is in place with the first two panels on. But uh, before we get any more panels on, I think 
the tracking device needs making. So on with that. So here's the kiln and as you can see down there the chimneys and the air inlets are all blocked up. And it's been cooling down for about two days. So let's have a look. So here you go, perfect charcoal. And uh, we actually put some bits of willow in this can, open topped but put it right in the top of the kiln and there we've got some artist charcoal. On with the project. Here's the 90 degree Radicon box, 40 to 1. You can hear how rough the bearings are, but it doesn't matter. They're not going to collapse and it's only going to go about that sort of speed. It's not as if it's doing 1400 revs day in day out. So I'll pay attention to these seals replace the seals that way we can put some really thick oil in it so how do we mount it well we've got two bits of angle iron there bolted on that's a start then what we'll do is we'll have the shaft out here and a support bearing with the wheel so we've got to support the support bearing so we've got a piece of inch and a half angle iron there <coughs> And another piece here. Now, you see that inch and a half just goes below the shaft. If you use two inch, it'd be a problem. So that goes there. That'll do. Then the motor. Now this is just a piece of rubber pipe. Quite thick wall. It's got fibres in it and it's two layers and everything. But that just pushes on there. And it allows a flexible drive, so things, if things aren't quite perfectly in line, it's not a problem. And then you're just a jubilee clip on either end. And if it breaks, then we'll do something else. But if it doesn't, it'll be fine. And then that will actually be somewhere like that, which is why that piece of angle iron is shorter. And then off here, we'll have some sort of arrangement to clamp onto here and hopefully I'll make it slightly adjustable just to get the alignment as close as we can. So that goes there, that's alright. Now one of the problems we had was this shaft has been outside or this gearbox has been outside for years and the shaft, I knew it was the right size but it wouldn't fit. Now you could spend forever with a piece of emery paper or something like that cleaning the inside of that shaft and wear the end of your finger out or you can do what I did which was to take a piece of steel bar like that and cut a slot in it and then put this emery paper in the slot and wind it round. 
Now most of you will know about this, but some of you won't, so this is for those people who don't know about it. And then all you do, you put that in there, and of course it's only the outside that's working, so once it gets clogged up and worn out, you just tear a couple of inches off and carry on. And that cleans the whole of that inside. Very handy. And if you want to be more accurate, then you'll wind this up so it's nearly the diameter of the shaft. And it's quite solid. And then it will clean things up. So I did that. And then you notice I've got the support bearing on there already. That goes in there like that now. It fits. Whoopee. Right, and all we'll do here, because this is keyed, we could go to all the extravagance of having a keyway cut for us, or we can just drill, find a bolt the right diameter to suit the keyway, drill a hole in the shaft, cut a short section of bolt so it sticks out the appropriate distance, pop it in there and slide it in. Job done. So that's that. Then we need to support this support bearing. Now the general cussedness of things means that this inch and a half is about a quarter of an inch too thick. But that's not really a problem because what you can do is take a short piece of angle iron, cut a short piece and fit it. It won't fit, which is typical because it's a bit long. But if you get the general idea, I'll tip that down so you can see. And then drill some holes in that and weld it on and all that lot. You could even drill um, drill holes in this angle iron and then cut slots. So you've got fine adjustment. So we'll have a piece of angle iron on there. Taking this and this piece of big box section supports everything. Then the wheel goes on the end. Then we trim all the, the tail ends off. Then we got the motor and the gearbox and the wheel mounted on a frame and it'll look a lot neater once it's done. Then this needs to sit underneath the solar gate. So there'll probably be four uprights coming up here to the appropriate distance and a couple of bits of two inch box section going across that mounts to the bottom of the gate. All well and good. It's just knitting. You go so far. You know, you could do all this CAD design and all that sort of stuff and spend forever, or you can go, right, how are we going to mount this? We'll do that. Right, how's this going to fit? We'll do that. You know, and sometimes, trial and error, you get it wrong, but it gives you a start. Now, the next thing, the only thing you've got to remember here is that the line of this shaft it needs to point directly at the gate pivot so that the wheel follows the circumference of the circle evenly if this doesn't point towards the pivot the wheel will be slightly off and it will dig in and spin and scrape so you need to make sure that that's lined up with the pivot going to have one wheel and then an extra support wheel and the support wheel will just be what it is it will um, it will just stop the whole boom twisting a bit give that extra support but it won't be driven so that will probably be the original wheel off that uh, wheelchair motor again its axle will have to point directly towards the pivot so it will be at a slightly different angle to this on with the project